and welcome back to Air Tycoon Online 3. Uh, if we take a look at our profit right now, we're actually doing exceptionally well. 2.4 billion on these last three upticks um, and 1.4, 1.3 billion in the downticks isn't too good, <clears throat> but this is just a steady improvement, right? What you will notice, though, is that year on year, this isn't uh, my best year for quite a few years. Um, in fact, the year before this one, as you can see, it's a down year, was about 18 billion and a half or close to 19 billion. That was actually the best year we've had so far in the game. Um, and the main reason for that is, simply speaking, a lot of our planes are starting to age out. Um, and these 747-100s, I replaced a lot of them. But as you can see, the older ones are really failing to make a good profit with both halves of the stopover adding up to uh, less than 3k in most cases. And some of them were down to 1k or just straight up losing money. Uh, and that's losing money without considering the fact that there's additional costs that aren't calculated in the route specifically. Uh, right. So um, as you noticed, um, we used to have about 457 for 7100. We're down to 150. Um and most of those have just been replaced with these 747 400s and 300s. Um, and if we take a look at these ones, we can see just how much more they're making. Um, we went from barely profitable at all to just a steady uh, locked, you know, 9K per turn or something like that. So, yeah, replacing these with new high satisfaction planes um, has made a big difference. Um, we did maintenance on some older types like our DC 1030, uh, right? And what we did was we did a renovation by model. Um, and that kind of thing, right? So <clears throat> those are the main things uh, that we've been doing. Um, I haven't recorded too much of it simply because it's just a little bit boring. Um, I did actually do one episode where all I did is replace planes. And I was like, am I really going to upload this? It's just clicking buttons. I, 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 like, I could have clicked it once and you guys would get the idea of what I was doing for the whole episode, right? So I decided against that. And yeah, as you can see here also, like even our newer plane types, like our 767-200s, are starting to need a new maintenance as well. I'm going to wait till these get lower satisfaction uh, to uh, when the satisfaction number turns red, uh, which is when it planes go from unprofitable to extremely unprofitable, um, <clears throat> is when we're going to do the maintenance, uh, cabin maintenance on those planes. But yeah, as, as you can see, like in general, right? Um, since the last episode, we've added a lot of new planes, um, especially 747-400s. Uh, and start just replacing the older types, which are starting to age out. And I should go replace uh, a bunch of these with new 737s. Uh, and these will need to replace tomorrow um, or sometime like that. So uh, what do I plan to do this episode? Well, one thing I did want to do is I wanted to add some A340s. Now, um, A340s are not the most profitable aircraft. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, just due to the ultra, ultra long haul nature of these planes, they tend to actually um, have questionable kind of uh, profitability per seat, but less than 200 million for a 340 seat plane, which has, which is definitely like, this is probably the first truly global plane in the sense that it really can fly around the entire world, basically anywhere um, and still be in range is kind of a, like a unique thing, right? So we're definitely gonna order some of these and open some new routes with them. Um, yeah, just like it, this unlocks so many things. Um, this plane is also small enough to be used on direct routes, uh, which will help with hubs like, um, Los Angeles and that kind of city, which kind of struggles to find good, uh, what's it called? Stopover routes. Uh, so we can even fly directly to some better cities from, uh, the likes of Los Angeles and that kind of place. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to do an episode of this super, super long haul. Yes. We're basically every a new episode nowadays we're just flying some newer longer and longer haul type airplane until we run out of um this as a, a new thing we can do right and when we do we'll just go back to you know um a310 ask aircraft whatever the equivalent of the day is and just try and find good routes uh that are good in that range category right and so what we can do now is we can fly really ridiculous routes like we can go abuja uh to los angeles and then stop that over and fly somewhere really far Right, I'll, I'll show you the problem though, is if we do this, uh, for example, we're gonna get two schedules per week, uh, which is not going to be profitable. Never fly two schedules per week. Always fly three whenever possible. Like I'd rather fly uh, four directly um, than two as a stopover in a lot of cases. So I think, uh, yeah, here we get five, right? So as you can see by, by getting to two schedules per week, 
um, you lose that extra half schedule per week, which is really not what you want. Um, so instead, what we're going to do is we're just going to fly uh, some super fun, super weird, super long haul routes that still get to three schedules per week uh, when we can. And when we can't fly these super weird routes, it's just fly directly to some cities that are at least 300 business in tour. Um, yeah, like if we do stop over us like this, as you can see, we're basically fl flying at this point straight down to Los Angeles, uh, which is not a bad thing, but like uh, there's just not a lot of stopover options, right? Only stopover options are to the south here, um, right? Uh, which means we can either compete on cities like this or just fly uh, direct. And in this case, right, um, I'll probably turn this into a stopover because this is a free stop here in uh, San Diego. Uh, well, simply because, right, it's still four schedules per week, so that extra little stop uh, costs us nothing. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this is kind of the new kind of stopover route that I'm going to be doing. Um, I don't think something like this is a proper stopover route, right? Uh, so, um, so I'll just fly that directly, honestly. Um, yeah, once again, Los Angeles is big. The World Traveler Index of this world is big and getting bigger. It's actually one of the better ones I've ever had, 3,900. I don't think I've actually seen a World Traveler Index go to 4,000 for so long, and it's very likely to happen in this world given that this is just the 90s right so i'm kind of excited for that so yeah i uh, can't wait to see a hopefully hopefully really good world traveler index so yeah yeah basically here as you can see like i'm just going to open these routes directly i cannot find a way that's intelligent to turn these into stopovers um yeah i think as the game goes forward uh, i'm gonna need to make more and more uh, direct routes instead of stopover routes, right? And it's not that I don't still recommend making stopover routes whenever possible. It's just that I'm running out of good ways to make stopovers to a lot of my major hubs. Um, the European ones are still great, right? But obviously, I'm not going to be flying these ultra, ultra long haul routes to those European hubs um, because Europe is just not that far from all major hubs, right? So we don't need to do that. Um, so yeah, instead, I'll just be flying these uh, ultra long haul routes, uh, what's it called, from these US and maybe potentially in the future Asian hubs, right? I, I don't want to open hubs where I don't fly very many flights from them as that simply just doesn't make a lot of money. You just spend a lot of money uh, on like the one time expenses of hubs such as um, every time you open a new hub, right? You need to pay a bit more branch expense, you need to pay ongoing branch expenses i don't know what to call that besides well just like ongoing branch expenses it is how it is right um so yeah when you have to pay all of those things uh it's better to fly a lot of routes from one base than it is to fly uh to a lot of bases a little bit um and it's also uh in case i do have maintenance uh and stuff like that which i do right um it's just far better to to have a lot at one city right because those maintenance depots uh really scale with how many flights you have into one city and wow it feels so weird to be able to fly direct to los angeles to uh india this is these are such such crazily far routes that uh yeah it's, i think it's it's very close to half the globe i think half the globe is just under twenty thousand kilometers right so fifteen thousand is really getting close uh, you need to be near perfect antipodes to get any farther than this. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and take all of these flight. Wait, I think these hubs actually will have a lot easier time turning into stopovers. Yeah. Um, now, if I make this into a stopover and this only gets three schedules per week, right? That's also not really worth it to me. But if it's still four, then I think it is. Um so let's go ahead and do that. Let's turn these into stopovers if we can get four schedules per week. Or, like, yeah, like, that's just not going to work as a stopover to, to Asia, right? So we have to stop it over this way. Dhaka to Los Angeles. And then this one, I might actually want to do something like this. Ooh. Not quite valid. Not quite valid. Uh, I think it's because the two cities are actually closer to each other than the way I opened the stopover. So I think the only valid thing is to do something like this, and this only gets three schedules per week, uh, which is a bit unfortunate, but oh well. Uh, that was just a funny idea, I guess. It didn't quite work. Um, I think these will be stopover routes, which actually are good. 
what we can do is stop over these routes to the European East Coast or the US East Coast somewhere or even Africa no not Africa uh I think we can do Europe but like the closer parts of Europe oh I already turned all of these into uh oh no I couldn't have done this anyway it's not valid somehow um okay okay never mind never mind i thought i was like oh i thought it was super clever like oh i can make a stopover out this way but i guess not uh, at the end of the day um it's just so difficult we're just gonna fly these direct i think one of the reasons why um a lot of a340s don't make that much money is simply because like if we take a look at the schedules per week right getting mostly four schedules per week on most of the flights uh it's just not that good for profits um yeah, with only four schedules per week, um, like it's very likely, right, that we're very close to being able to get like maybe two or three thousand kilometers of flight range off from five schedules per week, which is why we're just not going to be as profitable um, as we otherwise could have been. Um, anyhow, yeah, like like as we keep going, right, um, these routes are still just very simple routes. Uh, we're still just doing Los Angeles because if you take a look at Los Angeles business and tour right now, I've actually never seen a city this big in so long. Like, what is this? 750? Is that tour business? I think that's tour and 621 business. That is what? 1400 business and tour? That's crazy. Like, I'm almost sure all of these routes will be full. And like, um, this world in general is so crazy with this World Traveler Index. Um, there's also just basically no way that i can possibly fulfill all the demand that i know exists in this world right uh which is a bit annoying like right um i, I probably have the patience right to replace up to 150 200 planes in a day right um and i probably have the patience to open 50 or 60 new routes right uh but that would probably make me finish the game with i don't know 3,000 aircraft when there's the demand at this World Traveler Index for probably seven or 8,000 aircraft, um, if not more, right? But like, how, like, am I supposed to open five or 6,000 routes? Like, I don't want to. Um, it's going to take so long, um, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do as many as I can, right? Just to see like how much we can grow uh, with these like, like, uh, rare conditions of having infinite slots. I don't think I want to purchase this again. Um, if I do, I'll play normally and see what I can achieve kind of with uh, regular normie slots and that kind of thing. Um, it should be a pretty interesting experience. Nevertheless, you know, you know what I mean? Like seeing uh, how far I can get having less patience than I did uh, when I used to play this game uh, a few years ago, right? This is a great city. Wow. Okay. This city is like... Um, just massive like it just just massive yeah like uh wow um it's already been taken to a lot of europe but yeah well i've the 500 biz, like business and tour for a city i've never really heard of um one of the reasons i've probably never heard of it before is because it isn't in any of the major air tycoon games i used to play or that kind of thing she's young huang like, well, that's such as like shenzhen like oh my god never mind shenzhen is freaking huge never mind um, anyhow, we're going to ignore that and just start to open more direct routes, I guess. Like, we, yeah, we need to go and take, uh, that city to most of, uh, Europe as well at some point. But obviously you don't have to use an ultra long haul plane for that. We can use something like a 767-300, um, and be perfectly fine there. Like, it's just so, cr man, when the World Traveler Index is good, the possibilities are so different from when the World Traveler Index is bad. It, it almost feels like a different game, um. I still remember one time I played where the World Traveler Index at about this date was 3,000, um, which was just so unfun. I, I played basically by spamming A310s only. Um, I, I think I had 600 A310s or something like that. Um, and while that was good in the sense that I was still very, very profitable by spamming A310s, was it fun? No. Um, was... Uh, you know, using the same plane that many times 
particularly interesting? No. Uh, so yeah, I really hope that uh, most people, most of you have good world travel indexes just like this world where you can pl fly way more different kinds of planes profitably um, and just have a more interesting gameplay experience, I think. Um, yeah, definitely really valuable. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, this is a route which could be flown with a 767 actually, but uh, at this late in the game, I don't think I need to differentiate between uh, 767s and A310 kind of size aircraft. That's probably not worth the time anymore. Um, so yeah, anyways, with that being said and done, uh, what I will do is I'll spend the remaining 10 million either opening new uh, A340 routes like as I just have. I've just opened 30, uh, right, which I think is a good amount for a video. Um, and I'll also just replace some of the older aircraft like those expired Tupolevs um, and stuff. And yeah, anyways, that being said, I hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.